Hello everyone and welcome to our Rhapsody reading. Today is the 15th of December and our title is Submit to His Dream for You. Our shouting scripture is from Proverbs 3 verse 5 to 6 and it reads, Lean on, trust in, and be confident in the Lord with all your heart and mind. And do not rely on your own insight or understanding. In all your ways, recognize and acknowledge him, and he will direct and make straight and plain your paths. Pastor P says, Have you ever asked yourself, Is my life in alignment with God's perfect will for me? It's important to be sure. Jesus said, If any man will do his will, he shall know of the doctrine. John 7 verse 17 So if you're willing to do his will, he'll teach you. But sometimes there are those who are afraid to let God have his way in their lives. They think he'll change their dream that they've so nursed all their lives. They feel He might lead them to become something they don't want. Well, that's because they don't know him. If you don't know him, you can't trust him. But if you ever get to know him, you'd learn to trust him. All he ever wants is the best for you. He's more ambitious for your success than you could ever be. The day I discovered this truth, I said, Dear Lord Jesus, now I trust you with my life. I wanted to be a a success for him, but he was more ambitious for my success than I could have been. I found out he loved me more than I loved myself, wiser than I could ever be, and I became bold and focused. Remember he created the whole world, including you. He knows everything inside you. Not only does he know everything about you, he knows everything about life. All he wants is that you say, yes, Lord, I am ready. He's experienced in dealing with all kinds of people and he knows exactly what to do with someone like you. Trust him with your life. Stay at the center of his will. And you will never lose. First Peter 2 verse 6 says, He that believeth on him shall not be confounded. That means you never be disgraced or put to the blush for trusting him. Therefore be confident in the Lord with all your heart and mind and submit to his dream for you. Wow, this is such a beautiful and encouraging message. I really hope, I believe you learned something. Um, You may repeat the prayer after me. Say, Dear Heavenly Father, what comfort, confidence, and blessed assurance to know that I can trust you with my life. The only one who's faithful and true. The future belongs to you. Therefore, I put myself into your guiding arms. Under the Lordship of love. Trusting you infinitely. To be led by your word. And your spirit. As I fulfill my destiny in you. In Jesus name. Amen. And for further study, you may read Acts 26, verse 16 to 18, Psalms 18, verse 30, and Proverbs 16, verse 3. And for our one-year Bible reading plan, you may read Revelation 7 and Amos 5 to 9. And for our two-year Bible reading plan, you may read Revelation 13, verse 11 to 18, and Micah 7. Have a wonderful day and see you again tomorrow with another Rhapsody reading. God bless you.